I think the most damning evidence of the president's failure to st actually stimulate the economy is the president's own standards and the president's own expectations for this, and they failed and failed miserably. We have wasted a year in which we should have been putting Americans back to work, and instead we're doing things like spending $5 billion in the stimulus bill for obesity counseling and smoking cessation programs. Now, I know a lot of unemployed people, but I don't know too many unemployed fat coaches. And shouldn't we be focused on creating jobs, not just spending money as government can sometimes do willy-nilly? And this is willy-nilly. I think Carl knows better. He worked in the White House for a long time. I think anybody who's ever worked for the federal government, or any government for that matter, knows that you can't appropriate money and have it all go out the door in that, in that particular year. Furthermore, I think saving 601,000 jobs is worth something. Those jobs are a lot of the people who are right here. Those are, those are teachers. This is, this is, this is, this is funded. They say, they say, those, they those themselves people, use the word funded. Those, on I don't care website. what word they use. Those funded people are laid say, off and they fired. Got, well, well, a lot of them got pay raises. They're out the door. So I think it's worth saving public jobs. I think it's worth saving people's school systems. I think it's worth saving higher education. Uh, the states are under enormous amounts of pressure, and I'm glad that the states were able to backfill their budgets, because there are a whole lot of people in this audience right now who would be in the unemployment lines if it wasn't for the stimulus package.